And good afternoon, everyone. Juan Fernandez coming to you live now from the KCAL News Studios. And this just into our newsroom, LA is doubling up on the James family. Bronny James, the son of LeBron James, has just moments ago been drafted by the Lakers. And here now to dive into all this with us is sports journalist and the Sporting Tribute CEO, Arash Markazi. Arash, thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. First up, what was your initial reaction? <laughs> <laughs> the worst kept secret in sports over the past year. I mean, the, you know, Le LeBron James has talked about wanting to play with his son. That has been a career goal of his, a man who's won championships, gold medals, most valuable players. He wants to be on the same team with his son. So Bronny James this past season was on USC, was not a star player, but no one thought he'd come back for his sophomore year. Uh, he was in the draft. By the way, generally thought of as a very good prospect, probably would not have been uh, drafted had it not been for the fact that he's LeBron James' son and the Los Angeles Lakers wanted this to happen. But again, no surprise here. And we now have a father-son duel in professional basketball. Arash, has this ever happened? And what does this mean for the NBA? I mean, I can only imagine for us in the news and the sporting business, the headlines here, uh, the grab is, is incredible. Let me just tell you the star power of Bronny James. As someone who has covered USC basketball for many years, the fact that Bronny James had USC men's basketball games sold out, sold out against Long Beach State, by the way, uh, his he will be, again, the, the Lakers have star power. But I'm talking about the summer league in Las Vegas where, you know, first and second year players go. Those games in Las Vegas will be sold out. If Bronny James plays for the South Bay, Little, South Bay Lakers, the Lakers G League affiliate team, those games will be sold out. You know, I, I could just imagine the uh, jerseys and the posters and, yeah. you know, the father-son <laughs> combo. So uh, this is extremely rare. However, it has been something that LeBron James has been talking about for quite some time. And Arash, you just said it. LeBron wanted this to happen. So how much of this, if at all, was orchestrated? We heard that uh, <laughs> Rich Paul, right, LeBron's agent, um, was telling the other teams, hey, don't take Bronny. Let the Lakers mm -hmm. take him. So... Was it orchestrated? It has to be. And by the way, we may hear reports that it wasn't. I, I, I don't believe that. By the way, J.J. Redick, they say LeBron James had nothing to do with that. J.J. Redick and LeBron James did a podcast for the past couple of months. They drank wine and they drew up plays. I mean, you want to tell me that they didn't have something to do with that? And now Bronny James gets drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. And the next domino here, and again, they're going to say that it's not related, but please, you know, come on now. Uh, LeBron James will likely sign a three-year contract, max contract, uh, with the Los Angeles Lakers and finish his career here. You know, so the big question is, you know, do the Lakers have enough talent around, around LeBron James to win a championship? But, you know, great story here. But by the way, I mean, people are forgetting a year ago, a year ago, uh, Bronny James suffered a heart attack. Yeah. I mean, you know, the basketball was the furthest thing from his mind. Uh, so the fact that he's in the league, he's with the Lakers, and he's teammates with his father, that is a very cool story. It sure is. And, you know, you just mentioned the uh, heart attack. Are there any lingering concerns about his health? Uh, Bronny was saying he felt much better. The, the LeBron uh, James family saying he was doing better. But, you know, is his health a problem? It is not. Again, I mean, you know, that is a big, great question. Again, he's been cleared by the league. He's been cleared by the team, cleared by the school. Again, he would not have been allowed to play at USC if he was not right. uh, physically cleared. So not, not only was he cleared to play at USC a year ago, he was cleared by the league and cleared by the team to be in the draft. So uh, those health problems hopefully are b behind him. But again, a big story to kind of follow here as he begins this journey. Arash, looking into your crystal ball here, what do you see regarding uh, the Lakers' future? I mean, you're already talking about jerseys and a lot of merchandising. What about ticket sales? Listen, I mean, the games are going to be sold out. It's the Los Angeles yeah. Lakers. It's LeBron James. It's Anthony Davis. <laughs> they get a new head coach in J.J. Redick. Uh, they will be thought of as one of, you know, the top teams in the league. But it's going, to, it's going to be hard for them. I mean, you're talking about a team that was a play-in tournament team this year. They did not get past the first round. You know, so again, their goals coming into the season are to win a championship. It's going to be tough. But again, when it comes to the Lakers, when it comes yeah. to LeBron James, jersey sales, ticket sales, <laughs> that is not a problem. That's right. And we're so excited for the uh, James family, for LeBron and for uh, <laughs> Bronny. And of course, Arash, we're going to be here to witness uh, what the Lakers are going to be doing uh, in the upcoming season. Arash, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate your time here.
My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. And we thank you watching uh, here at KCAL News on CBS News Los Angeles. We'll have the very latest coming up right here on KCAL News at 4. Thanks so much for watching.